joining us, Jesse McCurry, who is the executive director of Kansas Sorghum. Uh, uh, Jesse, always great to catch up with you. How are you today, Ken? It's, we're moving into the never-ending zone of Zoom meetings. It seems like this is kind of the, the new way of uh, doing things and communicating, but uh, this way we can stay socially distanced, if you will. But uh, lots of things going on in sorghum and, and also uh, uh, quite an honor for you. We'll talk about that as uh, our interview uh, progresses. But maybe let's first uh, tackle uh, a few days ago, USDA had a report that came out that showed planted acres, uh, that what Kansas farmers uh, uh, did and are expecting to, to have come fall. And uh, after a couple of year decline, sorghum acres uh, are up now in Kansas. We are up indeed, up 6% from last year. It looks like for all purposes, we're estimated at 2.75 million acres. And that's positive. It's interesting that report has gotten a lot of attention, obviously. I didn't realize this until later today on some of the unplanted expected to be planted portions of it. But a lot of double crop going in in the area. It's interesting to see where that might shake out. A lot of soybeans, but we're happy to be up in sorghum. Right, and I think that's one of the things that talking to farmers as the wheat harvest uh, really got going early. There was a lot of speculation of maybe some double cropping. And now as it's gotten to the central and working its way uh, up through the rest of the state and with those uh, week or so 100 degree temperatures we've had, uh, maybe some, some second thoughts, but it would seem to me that if that soil profile is there, the sorghum would be a, a great way to uh, try to get some in with those varieties and those, some of those short seasons that, that, that you could maybe gain an extra crop. Yes, we've been trying to push that message out, Ken, particularly the sorghum checkoff on double crop considerations for grain sorghum is certainly worth a look. As you mentioned, it sounds like the the soil is, is good in terms of the lower profile, but a little bit up top um, is starting to get drier. I was a little surprised on the drought monitor to show it looking pretty good in central Kansas. Um, starting to hear some complaints and it doesn't take long with these hot dry winds and 100 degree temperatures to make things look a little tough. Let's also talk ethanol. Uh, that is uh, uh, coming back and the sorghum playing a big role in that as well. Yeah, it's interesting to see how you know, we, we do respond as drivers and, and how much uh, we how much less we were driving as we were zooming more and uh, certainly would like to see people try to, to get out on the roads and try to, to help heal some of these ethanol plants who've really had a, a rough go of it. As you know, sorghum on average is about a third of our crop goes into ethanol and it's a very important part of our industry and, and for those communities. Jesse McCurry is executive director of Kansas Sorghum. He's our guest this week. Let's take a break and we'll come back with more in just a moment. 